right, listen up. This better be a good show, or you creatures won't get any dinner. I tried everything. Well, try something else. But... Oh, but! I want that... that, 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 that thing out there to do tricks with this detachable head. But he won't listen to me. Make him! Okay, Rayman. If you won't do your own tricks, I'll make some up for you. Now, imagine I'm Lackmac. But you don't look like Lackmac. I know I don't look like Lackmac, but for now, I am pretending to be Lackmac. Capiche? Well, you're not doing a very good job. Lackmac is goofy and he jumps around a lot. Now, the amazing Lackmac will toss you your pins high up into the air, and you send your hand up, way up, catch them, and then juggle. I didn't say turn in your thumbs. I said catch the pen with your hand. Ah! 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 The great Rigatoni is gonna hear about it. Oh, would you look at the time? <laughs> You're not going anywhere, pal. You do the tricks, and then maybe we'll feed you. Oh, thanks anyway. I had a big lunch. Stop! Stop! You're getting nowhere with this freak! All right, listen, you, 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 whatever you are. Rayman, and you are Linguini uh, Ravioli? I am the great Rigatoni, and this is my circus. Nice place, though I wouldn't want to live here. Listen, wise guy, either you perform or it's the circus dungeon for you. And once freaks check in, they don't check out. Put that thing in with Patina. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. 
Black Mac, you are my superstar! <laughs> the great Riccatoni finally has power and respect! No longer a thug, a merciless criminal, I mean, a businessman. <laughs> Even children love me! So, Lackmac, what can I get you? A little more bread? Water? Lackmac won free! Free? Free? I made you famous! I give you a place to live, food to eat, and what do I get in return? Oh, Mr. Rigatoni, sir. Lackmac didn't mean anything by that. Oh, do you want a ticket to the dungeon, too? <laughs> Kidder. Loves the kid. Kid, kid. <laughs> Pull up the anchor. We're moving on. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get out of here. That's what we're gonna do. No chance. Rigatoni knows our every move. We have to try. Who does he think he is? Who does he think we are? Locked up in cages like animals. Me is not animal. Oh, why do you cry, Lag Mac? You're the greatest, the funniest. We make a great team. We're rich and famous. You know, at least I'm rich and you're famous. <laughs> I kill myself. Oh, forget it. We are not going anywhere. Come on, Lackmac. We have to practice your new act. New act? Okay, Lackmac. Make a doggy. Good trick. But it's clear to see the bar is fake. Fake? Oh, no, my friend. This is cast iron steel. <laughs> Lackmac strong? Lackmac strong? Lackmac strong! Okay, Lackmac. See that bar? Now bend it so you can get free. Great idea, Flips. Capolini or whatever his name is will only see Flips. That's Rig, ah, uh, Tony. Whatever. Hey, Mark, get over here. Check on the prisoners and get that stupid dragonfly away from the camera lens. I'll wait here with Flips. You all go ahead. Oh, what did you do with Lackmac? Oh, uh, it was the craziest thing, right? He was Lackmac. Even works on stale bread. I've got an idea. I like to make a big exit. Where's my star? You who took my life back? That pretty bad fella made him escape, boss. No one escapes the great bigger Tony! Jump! Hello, Chief! This is the Great Rigatoni! Where's the Chief? Oh, that's... Detective Grub? Well, listen, Detective Grub! I just lost my prize act! I want you on the streets, patrolling all day and all night if you have to! Uh, yeah, 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 yes, sir, Mr. Uh, Rigatoni, sir. I will get my revenge on that Raymond freak! Not trapped in the circus. Look back, Ray! We better get out of here if we want to stay that way. And how do you suppose we do that? 
Hey! Nice set of wheels. Oh, this hunky junk. It don't even work. I should get rid of this car. My uh, friend here can fix your car. Man, I've been working on this car for near 10 years. Listen, your friend can fix it, he can have it. Thanks for the car. Flips, the worst is over. Yeah, we made it. We escaped. Black Mac hungry. Hungry? I think I'm gonna barf. Come on, come on, let's get out of the street. That pack over there looks safe. We never should have run away. Oh, at least in the circus we had beds. I miss my bed. I miss my cage. We're free, Cookie. You should be happy. Happy? With every cop in the city on our tail? Cookie, there's no reason to worry. It's a big city. We'll blend right in. Besides, we never did anything wrong. Haven't done anything wrong? Try telling that to the man with a nice siren. I'm gonna do what I should have done a long time ago. Write my last will and testament. Come on, Lackmack. Let's go. Why'd we even take him with us? Oh, come on, Bettina. He means well. Not now, Flips. He's just a little jittery right now, what with being a fugitive and all, but he'll adapt. <clears throat> Final will and testament. Whereas I, Cookie Lava Ghetto, being of sound mind and body... I'm busy, Flips! <laughs> Come on, Lackmac. Pay attention or I won't put you in my will. Look, what do you say we get something to... Shh. What's that? The car! Hey! Stop! <laughs> What's happening? Parking. No! Hey, no reason to panic. It's just a car. Uh, not just car. What do you mean, not just car? Flips in car. How could we let this happen? She's just so small and helpless. We'll find her. After all, she's in the car. And where are we going to find the car? The lost and found? There's a policeman. He'll know. We can't ask a cop. We're wanted criminals, remember? Hold on. What's he doing now? <clears throat> Excuse me, officer. I'm uh, new to your fair city, uh, and I seem to have, uh, how you say, lost. Well, actually, I think my car may have been um, carried away. Uh, might you be so kind as to tell me where I can retrieve it? 
Yeah, okay. You want to go to the impound lot downtown. Air trolley, number seven train, last stop. You're too kind. Huh? Good day. Hey, you're that criminal! Come back here! Everybody run! Freeze! All of you! This way! We have to catch the number seven train! 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 Police! Circus freaks at the impound. Chasing us. I got an idea. Hurry! I'm looking for a band of dangerous criminals. You seen them around anywhere? Sorry, can't help you. Uh, well, if you see them around, call me right away, will you? Hey, where's my car? This place is a disaster. How's anybody supposed to find anything in here? They don't. That's why it's called a scrapyard. Over there! Let's go! <laughs> Hang on, Flips! We're coming! You're safe now, Flips. We're here. Rayman! Patina! It's okay! I'm fine! Save, Flips! Hurry! Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? Anything! No! I'm coming! I'm coming! Ouch! Hold on, Flips! I'm coming! You're alive. You gave us quite a scare, Flipsy. Not so fast. Now one more time. Stand still with your hands up. Uh, w wait a minute. Where's the floppy one? What's that? Lock my breast, you. <laughs> Sorry, Cookie. I'll get you. I swear I'll get you. Hey, that's my car! Stop! There goes my car. There goes my reward. <laughs> there goes my job. I'm only gonna say it once. Thanks for saving Flips. By the way, does Lacknack know where he's going? Oh. Oh. Hey, what's happening? Oh, just a little trick I picked up. 
Well, whatever you're doing, keep doing it, okay? Well, it wasn't pretty there, but we made it. Made it? We're lost and homeless in a massive, unforgiving, cruel-hearted... I don't think we're homeless. Look at this place. Great southerly exposure. Hey, Fipsy. Well, I guess it beats the back of that old car. What a rotten day. Wherever you hoodlums are, you'll never rest as long as Detective Grubb is on the case. to the circus for you fugitives. When I find you, and I will find you. I wish he'd stop that banging down there. Oh, he's making my headache worse. Oh, my aching head. Oh. I can't take it anymore. Me neither. I have the right mind to go down there and tell him, oh, my head. I wasn't talking about grub. I was talking about all your complaining. Cookie sick. So what else is new? It's always something with you. <laughs> it's okay, Flips. Bettina, complaining about Cookie's complaining isn't gonna help. Not so loud. Ow, my head. Maybe it's that brain tumor acting up again. Oh, wait. Maybe you have an alien living in your head. Alien? Although this is pretty amusing, it has to stop. Oh, my stomach. Do I feel hot to you? Nope. Cool as a cucumber. A cucumber? A vegetable? You think I'm turning into a vegetable? Perfect. Now we don't have to go shopping. <laughs> That's not funny, Bettina. You'll eat your own words when you see how sick I really am. You should go to the doctor. Doctor? Just for a checkup. The doctor? Do you know how many germs are just waiting to attack at the doctor's office? Oh, those waiting rooms are infestation factories. People coughing and sneezing? No way! Cookie, I'll make you a deal. You go to the doctor's and I'll stop giving you such a hard time. You promise? Promise. Look at the bright side. Maybe he'll actually find something wrong with you. There is definitely something wrong with me. I'll second that. Cookie Lava Ghetto. Oh! Cookie, go bye bye. <laughs> Look straight ahead and read the chat. G U R A Q T I N V U. Oh, I don't blame you. I am pretty good looking. Tell me 
when you hear the tone. What? I, I can't hear you. There's a loud tone in my ear. Can you do something about that? I see. All right. Well, my findings conclude that your cranial distress is manufactured in your brain pan. I know it. What does that mean? It means it's all in your head. You're in perfect condition, give or take ten pounds around the midsection. But there is one thing. I know it. What does it mean? Well, given the frequency of psychosomatic symptomology, medical judgment dictates that the patient, that would be you, should be committed. Committed? He should be... Put in a nut house! No, Cookie! No, go! Are you crazy? Are you mad? No. Yeah. Not me! Bye bye! We've got a live one here. <laughs> no, you're crazy if you think I'm crazy. Well, if you don't get violent, that means kicking, scratching, hitting, biting, or hair pulling. You can play games or watch TV. Ouch! Oh, don't worry. It's not so bad here. They have jello, we get cable, and they take us to the movies once every three months. And I don't share my jello! Feel like a little goldfish? We can't let him rot in there. We have to do something. What should we do? What should we do? It's his fault he's here, all that whining and complaining. Do I feel hot to you? My head hurts. My arm hurts. It's part of his charm. If Cookie's in there too long, he's bound to think he's crazy. He's big on suggestion, you know. You have a point. This is worse than I thought. It's crap. Here to get Cookie. We have to act fast. If Grub sees Cookie, we are done for. Our goose is cooked. Um. I have an idea. Follow me. Uh, excuse me? Our uh, father went in without us. I, I don't see the family resemblance. <laughs> That's up the elevator and to the left. Where did she say to go? Wow, something like uh, up three doors and to the right. I bumped my knee coming out of the shower the other day, but it made me completely forget about the pain in my foot. Ooh, that's a good one. You're a funny little fellow. Now go fast! Sorry, just hey, looking for a friend. I, I just saw your friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he was here, and he said he never wanted to see you again. <laughs> he was really mad. <laughs> oh, my sunny boy, come to visit his mama. Excuse me, but we are in session. Oh, uh, what are we curing today? Ligerophobia. The fear of loud noises. Oh, uh, sorry to disturb you all. Grubby, this is my friend. Cook? I mean, I love to cook. Uh, you can call me Clarence. My name is Clarence. I, I thought your name was... Charlie. My name is Charlie. Oh, okay. Settle down, Charlie. Now go fast! Haven't we, uh, met somewhere before? You see, Cookie? You like cookies, too? Help me with this coat, and I'll show you where they keep the cookies. I'm free! I still think we've met somewhere before. Sure, we met about 15 minutes ago. I, I mean, uh, what is this, 20 questions? Uh, how about a different game? Uh, cards, checkers, backgammon. Oh, I know. How about darts? Darts? That's it! 
I know you. You're one of those criminals. Cookie, look out! This must be my lucky day. Ouch! Where are your manners? You leave that nice young fellow alone. Cookie for you. Me? Right, Cookie. Come on, we have to find a way out of here. Criminals. Okay, Harold, just settle down. We'll give you a cookie. Who are you? And I'm not Harold. I am an officer of the law. And I'm the fire chief. <sighs> oh, oh, don't look so sad, Sonny Boy. learn something from all this cookie? Yes, I learned that all this running is hard on my knees and my back is killing me. <laughs> Just kidding. Do I feel hot to you? I have to go out. Has Grub left for work? Yup, his car is gone. Bettina, will you take Cookie in your cab to pick up some groceries? Sure, let's go. Oh, we think Grub is gone, but what if he's not? What if Grub just parked somewhere else? Or, or what if his car is in the shop? Or what if he's actually home and his friend borrowed his car? That's a possibility. I don't think Grub has any friends. Good point. Poor Grub. Poor Grub? Remember, Bettina, he wants to throw us in jail. I know, but sometimes I feel sorry for him. After all, he's just trying to do his job. This is too much. We think Grub is gone, but what if he's not? Calm down, you sound like Cookie. I don't sound like that. There must be something we can do. Hmm, let me think. Huh? Black Mac, what are you doing? Black Mac won't see Grub. What's going on? If we look through the floorboards, we can see if Grub is home or not. Great idea. Black Mac idea. I must be rubbing off on him. Cookie try look. I refuse to sink down to that level. Besides, I have a bad back. What are you doing with that? You never know when you just need to cook up a little something special. Voila! Cookie, this is the best thing you invented since sliced bread. 
Thanks. Not bad, huh? No wonder Grub has no friends. His place is a mess. You have to see this. Hey, Grub's home. But look what he's carrying. Candy? Flowers? I think Grub has a date. Let me see that. No one would date Grub. I bet it's just a ploy. Oh, come on. There's someone out there for everyone, Cookie. No, oh, I have a bad feeling about this. I hope it goes well. Yeah, if Grub gets a girlfriend, maybe he won't worry about us as much. I doubt he has a date. He's just cleaning up. Oh, please. The only time a bachelor cleans is when he has a date. Hmm. Well, I hope he cleans himself up a bit. Ooh. Good afternoon. I, I, I mean evening. I, I mean... <laughs> Maybe. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, come on in. Make yourself a home. I mean, make yourself at home. I'll take your umbrella. Ah. Ooh, uh, 30 years bad luck. Sorry. Hmm. You sit down. I mean, have a seat. Grub looks a little nervous. No, oh, that's not nervous. I know nervous. That's petrified. <laughs> um, there's smoke coming from your kitchen. Smoke? Well, well that's, that's right. Uh, we're having smoked cheese appetizers. It's worse than I thought. He's wearing the appetizer. And it doesn't even go with his outfit. Oh, I agree. Now, maybe if it was jack cheese, but cheddar. Uh, black Mac hungry? There's only one thing we can do. Watch as he makes an even bigger fool out of himself? No, we have to go down there and help him. What? Rayman, that's a great idea. It's just one problem. If Grub sees us, we're good as captured. That's right. We can't go down there. Come on. If this date works out, Grub will be out of our hair. I don't know. Come on, Bettina. For romance's sake. You three stay up here. Bettina and I have a date to save. Okay, Flips. You can help, too. Oh, 
Oh, Grant, this is beautiful. I love the flowers. Can I get you more to eat? No, I mean, not right now. Sit, let's talk. <laughs> Sorry about my speeding. <laughs> you were going 65 in a 35 zone. Thanks for not giving me a ticket. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> Phew, Grub can't serve this. It'll ruin his date for sure. Oh, yuck. Maybe we could order him a pizza. I have a better idea. No way, no how. Stop looking at me like that. Fine, I'll help, but only if you let me do it my way. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Observe my four-course masterpiece. Need a little taste test? Cookie, I only count three courses. Where's the fourth? Shh! It's my three-layer upside-down cake. It needs total quiet to rise to perfection. <laughs> what was that? A burglar? Don't you worry, I'm a certified detective. Freeze, it's the police and I've got you covered. When did you... Never mind that. Enjoy. Wow. What do we have here? Um, uh, well, uh, it's a surprise. I, I, I call it Grub's Grub. Oh. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> Thanks, Cookie. You really saved the day. You mean the date. Do they like it? Can I get you more soda? Oh, yes. I would like that. No, Grub. Don't do it. Thanks for an interesting time. I have an idea. And I have another bad feeling. Who is that? Singing telegram. Oh! Da -da 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 -da. Sorry for the date, hope I'm not too late The date went so wrong, so I wrote this song These flowers are to make up for the sorrow How about the movies tomorrow? Oh. Detective Grubb here The flowers? Oh, the flowers Oh yeah, the, the flowers Tomorrow? Movies? Oh yeah, that that would be great.
Our actors are first of all created on paper. They have to be represented from every possible angle and with every possible expression. Then, based on these drawings, a modeler creates a virtual sculpture of the character directly in the computer. First of all, the modeler builds an envelope in which he places a skeleton that will enable our actor to move. The same operations are applied to the face, but first we have to design elementary expressions in order to obtain the full range of emotions. At the same time, and once again on paper, we imagine the sets, accessories, and everything that makes up the Rayman universe. These drawings are then colored to add atmosphere and lighting that will serve as a reference for the following stages. The storyboard artist takes the script and breaks down the story into a series of drawings representing the shots that will appear on screen. It is at this stage that the directing begins to take shape in accordance with the director's specifications. The storyboard drawings and the recorded voices are synchronized, edited, and timed at an editing table. Now we can begin to visualize the scenes. Stop! You're getting nowhere with this freak! All right, listen, you, 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 whatever you are. Rayman, and you are Linguini uh, Ravioli? I am the great Rigatoni! The layout artists first construct a virtual set in which they position simplified models of the characters. Again, as in movies, they then position the cameras. The film begins to be animated in three-dimensional space. Linguini Ravioli? I am the great Rigatoni, and this is my circus. Nice place, though I wouldn't want to live here. The animation can now really begin, and our actors come to life. Just like a puppeteer, the animator defines the movements, gestures, and expressions of the characters, but everything is done image by image, as in traditional animation. Stop! You're getting nowhere with this freak! All right, listen, you, 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 whatever you are. Rayman, and you are Linguini uh, Ravioli? I am the great Rigatoni, and this is my circus. Nice place, though I wouldn't want to live here. Listen, wise guy, either you perform or it's the circus dungeon for you. The virtual sets used for the layout are now replaced by high-resolution models. Textures are then created and applied to these volumes, a bit like wallpaper. Here again, just like on a film set, we position the lights and adjust their color and intensity until we find a balance between the characters and the sets. Special effects are added, and we get the final image as the spectator will see it. Then comes the post-production stage. The editing is finished, and the music and sound effects are synchronized with the image. And that's it. Stop! You're getting nowhere with this freak! All right, listen, you, 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 whatever you are. Rayman, and you are Linguini uh, Ravioli? I am the great Rigatoni, and this is my circus. Nice place, though I wouldn't want to live here. Listen, white guy, either you perform or it's the circus dungeon for you. And once freaks check in, they don't check out.